Hey everyone, Happy New Year and welcome to BSD Synergy. This week's episode is BSD Synergy Storytime. Today, we'll hear the tale of making Git Adder Info concurrent in Python and Mac and BSD. So this article was featured on BSD Now about two weeks ago, and Chris had jokingly said that it'd be funny to hear somebody read this or do a reading of this. And after I read it and gave it some thought and contacted the author, I bet's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to read this rather hilariously written uh, tale of old about dealing with concurrency and get adder info in Python on BSD. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the first, and hopefully more, BSD story time. And the story starts such as this. Tell us about the time you made DNS resolution concurrent in Python and Mac in BSD. No, no, you don't want to hear that story, my friends. It is nothing but old lore and if-defs. But you made Python more scalable. The saga of Steve Jobs was sung to you by a mysterious wizard with a fanciful nickname. Tell us. Okay, gather around then. I will tell you how I unearthed a lost secret, unbound Python from old shackles, and banished an ancient and horrible mutex troll. Let us begin at the beginning. A long time ago, in the 1980s, a coven of Berkeley sorcerers crafted an operating system. They named it after themselves, the Berkeley Software Distribution, or BSD. For generations, they nurtured it growing it and adding features. One night, they conjured a powerful function that could resolve host names to IPv4 or IPv6 addresses. It was called Get Adder Info. The function was mighty, but in years to come it would grow dangerous, for the sorcerers had not made Get Adder Info thread slave. As ages passed, BSD spawned many offspring. There was FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, and in time, Mac OS X. Each made its copy of Git Adder Info thread safe at different times and different ways. Some operating systems retained scribes who recorded these events in the annals. Some did not. Because Git Adder Info is ringed round with mystery, the artisans who make cross platform network libraries have mistrusted it. Is it thread safe or not? Often, they hired a mutex troll to stand guard and prevent more than one thread from using Git Adder Info concurrently. The most widespread such library is Python's own socket module, distributed with Python's standard library. On Mac and other BSDs, the Python interpreter hires a mutex troll who demands that each Python thread hold a special lock while calling Git Adder Info. Behold, my friends, the Git Adder Info lock in Python's socket module.c. This lock was not widely known. Although Python's global interpreter lock certainly is infamous, the Git Adder Info lock was known only to a battle-worn few. The mutex troll required this lock in Python interpreters installed on Mac, NetBSD, OpenBSD, or on FreeBSD before 5.3. I first described it while hunting a deadlock it caused in PyMongo. Since then, the mercenary troll and I have met in combat again and again. Deadlocks, errors, and slowdowns in my Python code led me to renewed confrontation with it. As I met more Python experts, I learned that they had encountered this hired troll too. For example, multi-threaded Python code that crawls thousands of websites and must resolve thousands of hosts ran fine on Linux but came to grief on a Mac. Threads would wait in a long queue to acquire the lock before the troll guard would allow them to call get at our info. One very slow DNS resolution would block all the threads behind it, and they would throw timeouts before they could ever grasp the lock. On the day that Python's artisans hired the mutex troll, it was needed to safeguard get adder info against concurrent threads. But now the troll was no longer needed. I knew that get adder info had been made thread safe on BSD's children, especially the most famous of them, Mac OS X. Many modern programs that called get adder info concurrently suffer no harm. The MongoDB server, for example, runs fine on Mac without a get adder info lock, nor a troll to enforce it. But the mercenary's contract was eternal, and in the decades it stood guard over the lock it had grown corrupt and greedy. The time had come to banish the horrid thing. Whenever I read the comment from some past craftsman about systems on which get adder info is believed to not be thread safe, my ire boiled hotter. Why enthrall ourselves to mere belief, not knowing the truth? One winter morning last year, I stood before my companions in the daily status meeting and asked to leave to endeavor on a quest. 
I told them about the Mutex troll and how it had held Mac and BSD coders hostage for generations. I made a great boast. I would defeat the Mutex troll in Python and free the threads. Gladly, my fellows at MongoDB granted me leave to go on the journey. Banish the troll for good, they cried. They raised their flagons of Diet Coke and drank to my good fortune. I donned my war gear and sallied from MongoDB's castle, but to dispel the Mutex troll's power in Python, it is not enough to say, perchance Gitadder info once was broken, but now it is surely mended. When was Gitadder info fixed, and how? And how could I prove it to the Python core developers? These developers, unlike MongoDB coders, must support all ancient versions of OSX to the dawn of time. To convince them, I would need to know the answer for certain. I decided to ask an Apple engineer to aid my cause. Now, Apple engineers are not like you and me. They are shy and secretive folk. They publish only what code they must from Darwin. Their comings and goings are recorded in no bug tracker. Their works in no change log. To learn their secrets, one must delve deep. Through wild hills I journeyed to a tower where Apple clerics once gathered. I entered the deserted tower and found carved into the wall a man page for get at her info on OS X 10.4, which warned the implementation of get at her info is not thread safe. I read the source for 10.4's get at her info. Uncertain what I beheld, I guessed I saw the data race. Get at her info calls guy lookup D, which reads and writes a global static variable guy proc. It seemed ill-wrought for multi-threading. On OS X 10.5, the warning had vanished from the man page, and the get at her info function was largely rewritten. Should I believe that the bug was fixed then, a decade ago? I wept bitterly over the years of needless toil that programmers and processors had suffered at the hands of the troll. I pitied them, but I did not falter. I would prove that they were free of the troll's domination. Yet. Differing one version of get at her info to the next was unprofitable. I did not understand what I saw. I needed an answer from Apple. To ask a question of the Apple engineers, my friends, you must leave $99 of silver coins in a hollow oak tree. Then wait. It may take a day or a season, but an Apple engineer will come and whisper in your ear and bind you to a secret pact that you must never reveal what you have been told. The engineer will give you an asking ring. This you must use to ask a second question within a year and a day, or its power is lost. I returned to MongoDB and asked my companions for some silver coins, which they gave me gladly. Then, on the first night after the first day of the year, I left them in the hollow oak with my question. Has get at her info been fixed? Can you give me a public statement or a link to a resolved bug in a tracker? I need a way not only to know it was fixed, but to prove it to others. I did not know yet what my second question would be. Twelve days and twelve nights I waited, refreshing my email. Is today the day? Or today? The twelfth morning, January 13th, I awoke to see an ancient box of rusted hinge and hoarded with lichen resting on my bed. The box opened, exhaling the dust of forgotten smithies where the first network code was forged. Slowly, I reached in. I lifted out a scroll marked with assembly codes and unfurled it with a crackle. My friends, I cannot tell you all that I learned from the message. The secrets that were spoken to me, I am bound to keep but I may relate a part of it, the story of a wizard both brilliant and foolish named Jobs. And so it came to pass that Jobs was exiled from Apple. His crown and throne were taken from him and he was banished from his company. He wandered deep into the forest where he gathered a coven of witches to conjure a new operating system called Next, a child of BSD. A demon called Lookup D with the power to resolve hosts was bound to serve within it. Years passed. Jobs fellows at Apple, hearing rumors of Next's greatness, sent emissaries to beg Jobs to return. With Jobs restored as their king, the Apple engineers wrought the first version of OS X. It too was an offspring of BSD, and its DNS system was a mix of OS X 10 features, MDNS responder and open directory, along with the daemon lookup D from Next and libresolve from an old BSD. 
Aha! I cried. It was these OS X versions whose get adder info was not thread safe. When Python was first ported to the Mac, it rightly hired a mutex troll to guard get adder info and only allow one host resolution at a time. Unfurling the scroll more, I read on. In version 10.5, the system was cleaned up to depend on OSX's MDNS responder consistently. In the process, get adder info became thread safe. Now, get adder info calls down to the MDNS module in libinfo. Next to libinfo, the scroll's author had written in the margin, the presence and name of this library is a remnant of, from the original netinfo architecture. The MDNS module uses something called DNSSD API, which is well known to be thread safe. The DNS SD API is part of the MDNS responder project. The key function is DNS survey query record. As you can see, it does an IPC over to the MDNS responder process, at which point thread safety is assured. The scroll was signed in an ornate hand. Share and enjoy, Quinn, the Eskimo. It was a message from the Loremaster Quinn, the gray-haired, the mighty-fingered hacker, the legendary, the Eskimo, who had named himself from a Bob Dylan lyric, who shouts the hitchhiker's guide battle cry, share and enjoy. In the dusty wooden chest beneath the place the scroll had been was an asking ring. I left it there for the day when I would need to ask a second question. The Eskimo's message had spurred my courage. I knew what I had to do. I would prove that get adder info called concurrently, failed on 10.4, and worked on a modern Mac. Once I had done that, the mutex troll's power would be dispelled. But now I had to get my hands on a 10.4 VM. I went on eBay and acquired an antique DVD. Arduous days and nights I toiled, googling by candlelight for the incantations that could breathe the ancient spirit to life in VirtualBox. At last, the creature arose. Now, I needed advice from BSD witches. How should I test get adder info on this old OS X? There is a tiny coven of New York City BSD users who meet at a tavern called Stone Creek, near my dwelling. They are aged and fierce, but I made the sign of the trident and supplicated them humbly for advice, and they were kindly to me. One NetBSD developer named Christo Zoulis showed me the NetBSD's get adder info test, which resolves a hundred host names with ten threads. I plucked the test from the NetBSD's code whore, which rests in heaps in a CVS repository. The next task of my quest required a compiler. Happily, Xcode 2 comes with the 10.4 DVD, so I installed it and compiled the NetBSD get adder info test. I prayed the test would fail, for then I would have reproduced the bug. I'd have shown that get adder info was not thread safe on 10.4, and so, assuming the test passed on a modern OS X, I could show that the mutex troll's reason for being was obsolete. My heart quivered and I prayed to the spirits of ancient codesmiths as I raised my fingers to the keyboard and invoked the program. Thank the spirits who smiled on my fortune. The test had failed. I compiled the same test on my laptop running OS X 10.10 and it passed. I could even see the evidence of get adder info's concert concurrency on my Mac. More threads reduced the total time to resolve all hosts. To the green and happy kingdom of the Pythonistas, I hastened with my news. Tis mended. The get adder info bug on OS X was fixed a decade ago in 10.5. The reign of the mutex troll shall be ended. I related the story of my testing and of the Eskimo's secret letter to me. Now was the time to use my second question, for I needed to discover how to ifdef for Mac OS 10.5. I returned to the lichen chest and took up the asking ring. Wearing it on my finger, I spoke, What preprocessor symbol can I rely on to tell me if OS X is 10.5 or newer? The ring blazed up with heat, and I cast it from me. I listened for an answer, but there was none. Despondent, I lay down and slept. The next morning, the ring had vanished, and in the chest, there was a new scroll from the Eskimo with my answer. Include availability macros.h and check for Mac OS X version 10.5. I had acquired the knowledge and weapons I needed. I could fulfill the boast I had made months before to banish the mutex troll and free Mac users from the get at our info lock. Behold the sacred patch. This patch was approved by Guido Van Rossum and merged by a core developer, Ned Dealey. And Guido did praise me, saying, 
Thanks for the thorough work. Now look closely at the code, my friends, and you will see that Python on FreeBSD 5.3 and later was already free from the troll. The knight Maxim Sobolev updated Python in 2005 to allow concurrent hostname resolution there. But OpenBSD and NetBSD yet suffered the demands of the mutex troll. OpenBSD's git adder info had been made thread safe since 2013. There is no need for the lock on that OS. And as for NetBSD, its git adder info was fixed long ago in 2004 by the very same Christos Zoulis, who had answered my call for aid when I went to the BSD witches in that tavern. My blood was still hot from my victory in OSX, so I made short work of the lock on the remaining BSDs. Their annals were well kept and easily found, unlike Apple's, and I had no trouble persuading the Python developers that no guard was needed on those OSs. Without a word, the mercenary troll shouldered its axe and trudged off in search of other patrons and other platforms. Never again would it hold hostage the worthy smith's forging Python code on BSD. I pondered that VMS was still on the list of non-thread-safe GitAdder info implementations. Had VMS fixed its GitAdder info? Could Python do concurrent resolution there too? But my sword arm was weary. I retired, leaving that foe to prove the mettle of some future hero. Well, there you have it. Uh, I hope you liked it. I've never really done any sort of thing like this, and I felt like it would be a f nice, fun little addition to the channel to have. You know, it's a very interesting story. It's very funny, and it's very well written. So I thought, hey, you know, holiday season, New Year's, it'd be nice to, you know, start off the year with a bang, with a funny story, and have nowhere else to go but up for this channel for the rest of the year. Thank you to all of you who have been with me for this first year. I truly appreciate it. I know this video is coming out on January 2nd. That's just where the schedule landed. Um, you know, share this with your friends. Share the channel with your friends. And I hope to see you more as we continue this awesome channel in this awesome new year of 2017. Thanks, everybody.